The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. You don't want no smoke. Like, Remy, come on. You're already a fucking convict, girl. Like, that shit does not work anymore. You don't get it. It's not 2000, girl. Like, the auntie, the auntie, auntie Ness just has to stop. Let's just hope that you get inspired to like write something other than like Nicki Minaj love letters and fucking that whack ass plaque of Oplomo shit. Like, let's just hope that this fucking inspires you to like really bring your girl because sis, 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 you were really on Wendy Williams show with the funeral outfit on, like with somebody's church hat on, girl. Like, uh, I just wish I could like breathe some cool into you. Like, I, that's all I want. That's all I want. I just want you to be cool. Right, but you're not going to post a text of me telling you not to be with Nicki Minaj. You're not going to post a text of me telling you to stop fucking bringing papoose everywhere with this baggy fitted. Like, girl, you were used for a Fat Joe's comeback, okay? You know, the reason that that shit got a grant. The reason that shit got a Grammy nomination was because of French Montana's hook and the money they put into Fat Joe's comeback. That was not a Remy Minaj. That was not a fucking Remy Mom moment. I'm sorry. But post all the other fucking texts too, okay? Don't just post like me key keying about fucking labiaplasty and all kind of other fucking useless shit, okay? Post about all the true things that I said to you in your face. You're trying to make me look like a fake bitch, but I've been nothing but real with you. And half the shit about fucking wanting to get my career back on. Um, wait, wait, do you have my room key? Half that shit is shit that I already said on my fucking social media. Like, what? Are, wow. Like, that's all you have. That's it? I'm disappointed. Of course I told you that you're one of my favorite MCs, and I meant that. I love your flow, but I don't love, like, you know, you trying to call out bitches for being fake when you're on a scripted reality show. It just doesn't make any sense. And ew, why would you even post that fucking shit about labiaplasty? Like... Ew, why would you even post that? That's not even my pussy. <laughs> For fuck's sake. This shit is just gets like on to on to your by the minute. Come on, my nigga, like, stop it. Stop it. Go on with your life. Leave me alone. Let me and my husband do my black love thing. Let me get my checks from Mona. Let me do my new multi million dollar Columbia record deal. Let me put out my records with Little Kim, an icon that still is, yes, it's bubbling on Billboard's Under 100. Absolutely. It's been out for four weeks. It's doing amazing. Last time I checked, it was once again one of the most added records, one of the most increases in airplays. I'm good with that. I'm okay with that because I came from nothing. I came from nothing. As far as I'm concerned, I'm an artist that just came out two years ago. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Because when I feel like it, I listen and I be chilling. I call because I feel like it. The day that I wake up and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it. I'm going to violate you. And if any of your fucking, if any of your faves got a fucking pedophile brother that's in fucking jail, get the fuck off my page. Don't say nothing to me because I let that slide too. I could have went in and took the opportunity to all right, there's a quote out there that says, imitation is the best form of flattery. For this video, I'm gonna switch it up. We're gonna remove imitation and we're gonna use the word admiration is the best form of flattery, all right? When you love somebody and you, and you really rock with them, you'll do whatever to get their attention. And in this social media driven world, you got people who flood your comment sections just to get your attention to show love right that's that's happened to me a few times and, and trust me i'm no no celebrity but i've been in my comment section i've seen somebody say something bad i responded to him like yo what's good b like you good you, you sound you sound like this is personal i responded and they'd be like yo it's all love bro i just want to get your attention i fuck with you now check out my music i'd be like nigga why am i yo that's not the way you approach something but then i get it though like i get it the way you get somebody attention is not by showing them love you say some hate and they're more likely to respond to you that's the era we in i hate it it's the truth right so when you see somebody dissing i mean in the last year you've seen this person diss rihanna you've seen this person diss Nicki minaj you've seen this person diss remy ma you've seen this person diss cardi b every woman that picks up some steam 
this person in Isaiah Banks, she disses them. Now, most have not given her the time of day like Remy Ma gave her the time of day last night, early this morning. But I think Remy was hurt by it. She was like, yo, how dare you call me out? Say I ain't popping. When you be in my DMs and my text messages every other month, how dare you? And I think Remy had the time and it's good promo for her show coming up on VH1. Why not, right? Um, Azalea Banks got to chill because she's put herself in a position where I hope she's making money on her followers or her Facebooks or Instagrams because nobody's checking for her music and they're damn sure not going to check for her music now because, yo, you've managed to put every, like, women fan bases go tough. Like, I'll say this. Drake's fan base, they ride for Drake tough like a, a woman's fan base does. But other, like, and Future got a, a really nice fan base as well. But when we're talking, and of course, like the greats like Michael and, 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 and Prince, they got a huge fan base. But when we're talking modern day fan bases, right? Women fan bases, you got a lot of women and a lot of gay guys. They ride tough for the women because it's so, it's so few of them. They feel like they got to go extra hard. So when we're talking about the Rihannas, you know what I mean? The Cardi B's, the Barps with Nicki. Remy Ma's fan base is picking up a lot, a lot of steam as well, like Cardi's. Yo, Azalea, you're one Beyonce diss away from your comment with never a positive thing in it. Your comment section on your page, there's, if you diss Beyonce, right? Beyonce's not gonna respond to you, let's make that clear. If you diss Beyonce, you will never have a positive comment in your comment section. You pretty much have dissed every relevant woman in hip hop or the R&B side in the last seven, eight years, pretty much. You gotta chill. Are you even concerned about music? You calling Remy irrelevant is a ridiculous statement. Remy as a female rapper. Now y'all want to judge your hits? I give y'all that. But Remy as a female rapper gets busy. Period. And you can't you're not in a position to call her irrelevant. What would I look like calling Charlemagne irrelevant. What would I look like calling Jamel or Michael Smith irrelevant? I'm not there yet, but that's fine. That's fine because the thing that I've known, I've gotten it. Obviously, I work at ESPN, so I work with Jamel and Michael for a few weeks. I got their attention for a game. Yo, you got the attention of all these big time names. They all give you the time. For some reason, they all give you the time of day, right? And instead of using that for records, in game you use that for hate you just a hater and that's the most disappointing thing in all this all these women who are up gave you the time of day and instead of using that taking that and, and, and taking that platform to, taking your platform musically to another level you wasted it on some part-time beef that's gonna last for 30 seconds and by wednesday it'll be shade room will be on to another story tmz will be on to another story you dropped the ball azalea and speaking of the ball dropping your career is falling faster than the ball you dropped if you ever had one subscribe to my channel for more. yo this is somebody really dropping the ball i hope this is a lesson out there to anybody out there who you got the attention of a, a a manager or some shit like that yo like don't ruin that or you got a position in mind you got some in mind a, a move in mind you got some kind of goal in mind yo don't ruin that over petty stuff. You see somebody beneficial in your future, hold on to that. Now, after you get what you need to get, do whatever you gotta do. I, I get it, things happen, people hold back feelings all the time. Show that fake love. But until you do that, until you get what you need to get, you're a dummy if you ruin that relationship and that connection. And that's what Azalea Banks has done with not only Remy Ma, but Remy Ma was the one who had the time of day for you. Talk to me in the comment box below. Azalea and Remy's uh, back and forth continues on social media with videos. I took out the video and just played the audio of uh, the highlights of what the two were saying. Azalea's claiming Remy ain't been relevant. I don't understand how you do that. And Remy's like, yo, you lucky. I'm off papers. You lucky I got a decent career because I would fuck you up. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent 
the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yes!